Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I would like to uh, put in my two cents, two cents worth, or uh, with inflation factored in, my four cents worth about um, the state of Star Wars as it is right now. There's, uh, as of the time of this video, um, they've released the trailer, the teaser trailer for Episode Nine, and Disney has announced three more movies coming up. Uh, but it's not for a couple of years, um, and we don't know what movies they are. It's probably there's three of them, so it's assumed it's a trilogy, and it's somebody's trilogy. I don't know if it's Ryan Johnson's or uh, the guys that do um, Game of Thrones. I'll just call them D and D. And um, as of this video, the the last episode for Game of Thrones has not come out, but the first five have, and. There, it's not. There's some problems. There's some problems with Game of Thrones, as far as the fans are concerned. Um, I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan. I haven't watched all of them. I've watched some of them intermittently, so I, I don't feel like I'm qualified. But I just have to go off of what um, Angry Joe and Jeremy Johns and uh, Grace Randolph ha have said, and some other folks. Uh, they're the movie critics that I watch on YouTube. They're not happy. And if they're not happy, I, if all three of them are not happy, I probably wouldn't be happy either. But these D&D &D are going on to make Star Wars movies. And it, it, it seems like they have did what Ryan Johnson did with The Last Jedi, and they have subverted folks' expectations, and they've tried to shock at the sake of of the story and character arcs. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, I, I, w I was optimistic about episode 9 myself because I've heard some things and then I saw the trailer, the teaser trailer, and I think I've changed my mind. Honestly, I, I don't know. It sounds like it's a course correction. The Rise of Skywalker, it's, it sounds like a course correction to me, which is good. At least they're listening to the fans. But, um, I don't know. Hollywood, they seem to think, Hollywood seems to be clicky. Do you know what I mean by click? You know, when you were in school, there were little clicks of different types of, uh, students and Hollywood seems very clicky and they, they seem to be on the the SJW train and I, I don't you know social justice is a great thing I, I don't I have a problem with it but when you go overboard with anything it can be a problem so and then you've probably heard about uh, Mark Hamill I follow he's one of the few people I follow on Twitter and he put the picture up there that somebody made of him and Lando and and Han and Leia, but in their modern look, in in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. And there are some people that went after Mark Hamill, and Mark Hamill is Luke Skywalker. He's played him. And they say, "Oh, you shouldn't have done that, Mark Hamill." At all. Are you serious? He knows that character more intimately than anybody. And it would have been nice to have those four characters together if only briefly because I mean this is the Skywalker saga and not making it about Skywalker what are they thinking not making it about Skywalker doesn't seem to make any sense to me it's the Skywalker saga you know, George Lucas said it was Star Wars is about the adventures of two droids, but isn't it really now about the Skywalker saga? And to be honest, I don't want the Skywalker saga to end. I was pretty happy with it until The Force Awakens and uh, uh, The Last Jedi. Uh, Force Awakens, uh, it was okay. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It was a soft reboot. 
um, of A New Hope. But, I mean, they want to kill off a major character in each new movie is what I heard. I heard Kathleen Kennedy wanted to kill off one of the uh, legacy characters like Luke and Leia, Han. But I'm like, why? You know, these legacy characters have all ended up in a kind of a crappy spot as far as The Force Awakens because Han Solo was a general <clears throat> at the end of The Last Jedi or at the end of The Return of the Jedi. Han Solo was a general, but then he went back to smuggling. You know, uh, Leia, she was a general at the end of Return of the Jedi, and she, and she was a princess. And uh, in Force Awakens, she was just a general, and she was still doing the same thing that she was in uh, at the end of Return of the Jedi. But uh, now it's the Resistance instead of uh, the Rebels. And are you telling? They won at the Return of the Jedi. They, for the most part, the rebels won. So she was still in resistance somehow. I, I, you know, and then Lando. No, nobody knows where Lando was at. Either one of those movies, Force Awakens or Return of uh, uh, the Last Jedi. No one knows where Lando is. And I'm thinking, well, where's Lando? Where's the black guy? You know, I couldn't understand that. And of course, uh, Luke. Where's Luke at the Force in the Force Awakens? You know, uh, we see him at the end of The Force Awakens in The Last Jedi. You know, he's a weak old man who's scared and went off somewhere to die even though he left a map. But what, I say, what I'm saying here, the, my point is, is that usually as one gets older they become wiser. And they, especially smart, strong people like that, you know, they accumulate either wealth and they accumulate wisdom and maybe even power so all these people reverting back to where they were this is, it didn't make any sense to me in The Force Awakens and this is just, it's not the Skywalker saga that the previous six episodes had shown me so you know the prequels say what you will but I enjoyed them I liked them they were Star Wars to me but these this new, these two new ones I just you know I don't know I don't think they thought this out. And you got J.J. making the first one, The Force Awakens, and you had Johnson making this, The uh, Last Jedi, and now you've got J.J. back. And you can have different directors. I mean, as, you know, Marvel Marvel's the go-to place to look at uh, how to do this. And Marvel had got it. They have different directors, but they have one guy that's in charge of the character arts, you know, and, and where to, the direction. But they, it does look. They say they were making Star Wars up as as they go, and, and that's, you know, it's, you know, started in 1977. And you know, it's just like they were cavalier, and they thought Star Wars was, uh, oh, they'll eat it up. They're like, oh yeah, the fans will eat it up. It doesn't matter what we do. I mean, it's Star Wars. But no, they they sold they sold us short. They, they were overconfident. Uh, and uh, well, uh, arrogant. They're overconfident and arrogant. It's a billion dollar French fry. French, French, franchise, not French fry. Uh, I'm hungry. Uh, franchise. And maybe they overthought it. I don't know. Because they're so quiet. They won't admit anything. Other than they attacked the fans after The Last Jedi. I mean, if so, if if you're watching this, you like the Last Jedi. I'm, I'm happy for you because I want to w like Star Wars. I do, but if you, I, I don't like the Last Jedi, and I don't like uh, I didn't like the Force Awakens very much. I just I, I don't still th think they thought this through. I mean, do you? I mean, tell me what you think. I mean, they're bringing Palpatine back for Episode Nine. They're they've got a whole bunch of planets. It looks like it's going to be a lot in one movie. But what do I know? You know, I, I think they should make two movies, and I think they should. I don't know. I mean, 
these writers and directors get paid untold amounts of money to take care of these franchises and keep them in the right going in the right direction. They're supposed to have the creativity. They're supposed to be, the, you know, s smart. You know, they do something to make the fans. I'm not just a fan. I'm a customer. Why would you want to piss me off? Why would you want to subvert my expectations so bad that you piss me off and you lose me as a fan? It makes no sense. You know, you give the customer what the customer wants. It's that simple. I know that there. The, there's the millennials are a big market to them, but the baby boomers still outnumber the millennials by millions, and the baby boomers have a lot of money, a lot of disposable income, and we have an investment. So I don't I don't understand what they what they were thinking. But after I've uh, I've, I've given it some thoughts after watching the trailer and 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 hearing some news, I just don't think. I don't know. We'll see how episode episode nine goes, but I my faith is not as optimistic as it was a, a month or two ago. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.